Hello, Taurus. Rambling Mike here. Come play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate it. Appreciate you reaching out, hitting that old like button while you're thinking about it. Hitting that subscription button if you haven't done that yet. Thank you for that. You know, that really connects you to my energy right here. Mm -hmm. Because that's who I set my intentions to read for, to be honest with you. My subscribers and those that hit the like button for me. And for, of course, my uh, new uh, members of Ramblin' Nation. Those are the people that I set my intentions for when I read these tarot cards for the general public. It helps you to connect to this if you want to connect uh, with a tarot reader. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for all that. Uh, I definitely want to shout out a big thank you to all my Taurus friends that have blessed me with donations. Many of you, very kind of you. Taurus, you're definitely the givers. There's no doubt about that. You know, from the heart, your Venus, huh? Taurus, if you bless me with a donation, thank you. And, of course, a big shout out. All my Taurus friends that um, have purchased readings from me and have purchased my uh, modified Oracle and Tarot decks. There's a whole playlist full of all kinds of fun stuff to look at on my channel. Thank you for all that. You guys keep me extremely busy. Um, I appreciate it all. And a big shout out, of course, to all my new members of Ramblin' Nation. I love you guys. Uh, of course, the perks are that many of you got to see these videos uh, in advance. Taurus was the only one that I was not able to put together before uh, Sunday morning. But the other ones have uh, had an opportunity to look at this up to a week in advance, many of them. Um, and of course, uh, the best way to get a reading with me is to become a member of Ramblin' Nation. I know the button isn't up on everybody's, but believe me, YouTube's working on it because they, they, they take their cut out of the pie. So uh, find that join button, either on your handheld device or check your computer for that join button. Hit that join button right there and then send me a text. Mike, I'm a member of Ramblin' Nation, you know. Here's, here's, my, here's my YouTube handle and uh, I'm going to put you on a list. I will absolutely get to every single member of Ramblin' Nation for a private reading. It's really the best way to do it because I'll be honest with you, I get about 150 requests every week for tarot readings. So anyway, thanks for all that, guys. I love you. Just a minute to talk to you. My next Sunday fun day is going to be March 8th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It will be the only Sunday fun day that I do in March because the 21st and the 22nd, when my other uh, Sunday fun day would be, I'm going to be in Burbank, California, holding a live meet and greet. If you want a reading with me, come get a reading with me face to face on that day. I put up other videos on my playlist about Burbank event. I'm not going to show up alone. There's over 20 people that are coming with me. Psychics, mediums, tarot card readers. There's going to be workshops and food trucks and a big mural to paint uh, that I'm going to set behind me for a season right here. All kinds of fun. Tarot readers, merchandise. It's going to be amazing. If you're interested in that, the number to text to is 386-585-0380. And uh, send them your full name. I say them because I got friends helping me do this. Send them your full name, your email address, and your telephone number because... That's what we're going to send your ticket to, is to your phone right there. You just show your phone at the door. You can come in and out as much as you want. You can come in and out both days. All kinds of fun stuff going to be going on. All that information is down below. All right. Taurus. Thanks for giving me a minute right there. Got a lot going on. I know you do too. Let's play some tarot, huh? Been shuffling your cards for a minute. Oh, got six of swords. Looks like... Somebody's going to be coming out of some choppy waters right here. Somebody wants something to change. Somebody's learned a whole lot of life lessons somewhere. I feel good, Taurus. I feel good, you know. In the western where I live, you know, spring is in the air. And, uh, you know, the birds and the bees are flying around and all that. And uh, lots of my, uh, you know, it is it is the retrograde, you know. And lots of my readings have had, you know, those lovers coming back. 
I am good, you know, I asked Source to put these out from a first person perspective, so uh, be you Taurus or not, uh, this may read out from a first person perspective for you. But let's fire up our intuition, our psychic abilities, you know, our discernment. See if you're in this story, see if your friend's in this story. If you see a friend in this story that you don't want in this story, you need to ask yourself, why is that person still in my energy? Why are they showing up in my tarot readings? Huh? All right. Let's have some fun here. I feel good, Taurus. I feel good, man. All right. Let's go with this right here. Hey, Terry, love team. Taurus is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Let me see. Let me speak what I need. Help Taurus see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Taurus' highest good. Taking that big breath, cutting the deck, Taurus. Here we go, let's see what the cards have to say today. I'm gonna do a full spread for you. If you remember, or a sub, you know, Ramblin' Mike ain't gonna make you chase off to some other channel to finish the story right here. I'm gonna give you a full read. Forgive me a couple minutes in the beginning to begin with. Uh, Celtic Cross from the Tower Illuminati. A full spread on top of that with the Witch's Tarot. Definitely a handful of this amazing Mystic Moon Oracle. Handful of the Romance Angels. And definitely two or three of the Major Arcana pulled out from the Starman David Bowie Tarot deck as an overall. Here we go, Taurus. First card out. Oh, I told ya. Oh, there they are right there. Mr. or Mrs. Hart going boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom. Right there. The old Knight of Cups. Coming prancing in, or maybe they have pranced in in the past, you know, because this can be a little bit of a non-committal energy many times. But, you know, every time they come around, boy, that old waterfall starts crushing down right there. Kawoosh, you know. Hi, Taurus, here's my cup. Oh, Lord, help us all. The lover right in the middle of the heartbeat of the Celtic cross. Let's see what crosses over our lover. Oh, six of cups. I mean, let's just get straight right to this tarot reading here. Six of cups talks about probably our lover right here having sweet thoughts of nostalgia when times were good and things were sweet with her Taurus. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner energy, past life lover coming back. Maybe you've met him. Maybe you haven't. Get ready, Taurus. Somebody making your heart go boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, 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 about to show up. It is March. Yeah, I've been shouting that out for a while right here. Let's see what happens in the spring and the summer of 2020. Six of Cups. Somebody coming in. Let's make sure they got flowers in that cup right there, huh? Hey, they got the cup. Let's make sure they come in with flowers in it, huh? That's water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Four pinnacles at the base of the spread, Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Well, they could tell me straight off the bat that Taurus may have been holding on to this person with their heart chakra for a while. But this is generally a mirroring energy, especially with Six of Cups. When one person's holding on to them with their heart chakra, the other one is too, because this is a card of feeling closed off from each other. See, he's up on the rooftop right there away from the city. Feeling closed off from each other. Trying to stay balanced. He's balancing a coin up there on his head, but holding that one right there by the old heart chakra right there. It's a, it's a beautiful love story. These two have been holding on to each other for the heart chakra, feeling closed off from each other. For a while. There it is right there. There's the emperor. Sacred masculine energy. Aries seated in his throne. And he is sitting there with the world in his hand. Looking at his world in his hand. You know. Because I would say the sun hasn't been shining too bright in the old emperor's world. Got his armor on because he's been in the battle wherever he's been at, but he's no longer in the battle. He's just chilling in his throne right there in a big granite throne. Maybe, maybe he wants some stability in his life because 
because when I lay it out here on, on the spread, the emperor's holding his world towards six of cups. Again, you know, that old cup in the hand. Look at this, Taurus. This is beautiful. Get ready, man. If there's a divine, get ready, man. These divines are coming in here for you. Let's make sure they bring flowers in the cups, huh? Crown in the spread, nine of swords. Oh, somebody's got some sleepless nights going on. The wouldas, the couldas, the shouldas, the ringing of the hand. I told you this emperor right here, be they male or female, uh, the sun ain't shining all that bright in their life and definitely holding up that world out towards six of cups, just like the lover's got his... his uh, and holding on to the heart chakra, not sleeping at night. Taurus, I don't want this energy getting on you. I want you sleeping like a little baby because your friend, uh, they uh, got a little anguish going on. You see him right there sitting on the edge of the bed, the old ringing of the hands, a hand on the head. Oh, God, the woodas, the shudas, the kudas. These are nines showing up right here. This is a cycle change coming in for you. Here we go, Taurus. I like it. Four of Swords. This can talk about healing. This is a healing energy for me. It's about our little warriors. After the battle, after the sword fight, if they lived through it, they'd come back and lay themselves down on a coffin in case they didn't live through that old battle, you know, and thank the divine, whoever that is to them, that they survived that battle. Today our battles are over the head and the heart, hence the three swords. And that fourth sword is about truth, uh, epiphanies, clarity, communication. And it's also a very sharp sword that can cut things out of your life that no longer serve you for your highest good. It is a card of healing and spending time with source. This air energy right here and, and, and our emperor. This says to me... That's why I love the Celtic. It says that the emperor looking at their new world want to come in and bring that cup of love, six of cups, sweet thoughts and nostalgia, ringing of the hands, the wouldas, the couldas, the shouldas, and they want to come in and bring healing after a battle that went on between these two because there's been separation here because of four pinnacles. They can't let go of you with their heart chakra. Yeah, man, this is solid. This is solid. Here's Taurus right here seeing themselves. Hey, Mike, if this person does come in like you're predicting right here, they need to come in with a solid offer for me, Mike. I'm going to take it one step at a time. I'm not rushing into anything with this person that I think you may be talking about right here. I'm not rushing into anything with them. They need to come in slow and steady. That's the one that wins the race. They need to come in with a solid offer. And again, look at our little knight right here offering up a coin. We have our emperor holding the world in his hand. There's an offer coming in here. We have our the boom, da boom, da boom, boom lover right there uh, extending the cup. This is nice stuff. There's definitely an offer coming in here for you. Many of my Taurus could already feel that this energy is coming for them. Hmm. Yeah, they need to offer that pinnacle, the one they've been holding over their heart chakra right there. And, and no rushing. No, 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 no. Man, one step at a time. I like it, Taurus. Yeah, the old hermit. You know, this is Earth energy. Virgo. Um, our second major arcana may mean something to you, may not. Virgo, Aries. But I mean, with the emperor, I always, I also see all the horned zodiacs. I see myself, uh, Capricorn and uh, Taurus. But uh, this is the hermit. And this tells me that your friend right here, this emperor, again, the one holding out the offering uh that they have gone inside and done some spiritual work with themselves they may have been gone for a while for all that to happen huh um and they have healed their heart right there four swords this is spending time with source and this is a more confirmation of that that this emperor right over here has been spending time with source um healing the heart healing the mind and they've 
went down inside of themselves and they found the star down inside of themselves. Great hope, great faith, the potential of their dreams to become reality. That's Taurus. You know, and all the falling stars talk about astrological alignments lining up. And we do got a major transit at the end of March. I mean, Saturn's going to transit out of Capricorn into Aquarius. And when Saturn moves, oh, Papa Karma, things change. Because he's, he's been in uh, Capricorn for two and a half years. So things things change suddenly, you know, when old, when old Saturn moves for everybody. I like it, man. I like the hermit shining his lantern on six of cups, shining his lantern on the lover. He's shining his lantern on the emperor. They're, they're both shining their lanterns all on the center story of the lover coming back in six of cups and healing between them. I love this, man. And, uh, well, this has got to be Taurus right here. The magician, another major arcana. Again, this is Aries. Gemini, Virgo, may mean something to you, may not, but this is the manifester. I would say that this is, because it's in the hopes position right here for you, Taurus, the manifester. Tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine, as above, so below, as within, so without, is the manifester. I told you I felt you knew that this was coming. Yeah, and he's got all four aces right there. He's all about all new beginnings and manifesting that. Taking it from the 5D and grounding it into the 3D. Ah, we got the old wild pony coming in, so kind of a red flag. They definitely want to play with you. I mean, wild horses can't keep this person away from you at this particular point in time. So make sure they come in with... uh Flowers in their cups. It's a great adventure of the tarot. I'm not really getting a huge red flag over it, but eyes wide open. They probably were a player in the past. Probably why you quit playing with them, huh? Many of these soulmate, divine, twin flame, whatever this is, uh, generally one of them's a knucklehead and the other one gets very spiritual. And then all of a sudden somebody gets very spiritual. And they come back in. They want to play with their Taurus again. You know, and this is the great adventure. It can talk about relocation of residency. Can talk about uh, different career opportunities coming in because these divines. Another thing, it involves their career. They definitely both sides get involved with some kind of light worker stuff. Just saying. Interesting card right there. We'll throw more cards out on the old wild pony up there. Oh, the old wild pony, because eight of swords. Eight of Swords uh, means that they feeling trapped. They may be involved with somebody still and uh, just have to come in and just uh, see what's going on with Taurus. They don't want to lose Taurus, that's for sure. You know, the old Wild Pony and Eight of Swords, because this is somebody feeling trapped. They're all mental mind fucked, you know. The woulda's, the coulda's, the shoulda's. Uh, I want to bring healing in this. Definitely going inside and working themselves. But Taurus wants a solid offer. Don't want this offer coming in wishy-washy. And it's only the beginning of spring, at least in the Western Hemisphere. And you guys, I mean, spring starts in where I live, uh, 21st and the 22nd of March. So it, wherever you're living on the planet, you can use that accordingly. I call that spring. And that's what I see right here, you know. Six of Cups is very springy to me. They feel trapped where they're at, all mental mind fuck, but they're not really trapped. They can get out of that situation anytime they want. They can back up, cut, cut, cut those loose binds off, pull that blindfold off, and get back up to that high vibration castle up there where my Taurus live. They can get out of that anytime they want. Yeah, 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 yeah. And come in there, there's that cup, that new beginning. A new beginning. Oh my God, this is burning in this person's heart, Taurus. <laughs> it's burning in their heart. You know, this is about a direct connect with the divine. Let's source do their work on these people right now. You be about you. You be happy when there ain't nothing to be happy about. Joyful when there ain't nothing to be joyful about. You get out there dancing in the streets because you're the magician and your magic is working right here in case you're wondering. Yeah, this is about a direct connect with the divine. It's also about going inside and healing their heart, healing their mind. It's also about love and all the possibilities there. And so it's definitely about unspoken love. 
for many of you, about to be spoken. Yeah, but somebody's an old hangman tree right now. Hangman, hangman. Wait a little while. There he is right there. That's Pisces. May mean something to you, may not. Hangman, stuck like Chuck, dark night of the soul. Um, I don't want you carrying dark night of the soul if they call you on the phone, you know. You you, you know what to do because you're the magician. You're, you're the one putting all this magic together with this person that's been holding on to you with their heart chakra for a long time. So go ahead and pull on those heart chakra strings yourself. I know they did. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, hangman, you know, they're all about, hangman's all about them getting a new perspective. They want to come out of dark night of the soul. That's source back there, blasting all that white light in. It's beautiful stuff. Yeah, oh, well, there's a tower coming. There's a tower coming, Major Arcana. That's Aries Scorpio. There's a tower coming. That's why they're feeling stuck like Chuck. They know they're going to have to pull the tower plug to come play with their six of cupper right here. Who they can't get out of their head. They can't get you out of their heart. They, they're the wouldas, the couldas, the shouldas. I don't want you carrying this heavy energy. This person here got some heavy ass energy going on in their world because they know they're going to have to pull the plug on whatever they've been doing. Oh, well. Because cause it's just going boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom in their heart, man. Yeah, the would is the could is the should is. I should have told Taurus how I felt about him. Oh, my God. Look at this shit. Look at this shithole I got myself into. And so, and this is a great adventure. They may come galloping in. They're going to come galloping in for you, Taurus. They're going to come galloping in right here. I want you to make sure they got flowers in their cups, huh? You know what you want. I want a solid offer. I don't want them coming galloping in. Enough of the galloping shit. I really, they, they want to heal this. Source isn't done with this person yet. Yeah. Yeah. Look at, there's Taurus right there. The king of, the king of pentacles, be you male or female. This is the catch. Grounded, balanced, stable, on a high vibration, loving, generous, kind, giving. They want to end a very painful cycle. They want a new day to dawn. All this air energy. Eight, nine, ten. This is a countdown, Taurus. I'm happy for you. And they want to come in and bring the golden coin. That's the cornerstone of the ten of pentacles. Look at this story right here. That's the power couple. You know, the loving couple, the wisdom of the years. There's the old hair fat, the, the babies, the bliss running in the yard, the doggies, loyalty, money in the bank. It's this coin right here. It's that coin that, that, that's everywhere in this story. It's another 10. There's an ending of a cycle, which always makes a new beginning. A new beginning. Two of pinnacles. They're, they're, they're learning the dance of change. The two ships on the top of the sea. The two ships that have passed in the nights. The seas are rough and the sails are tattered, but those ships have never really sank. The pinnacles have never really hit the ground because there's an infinity symbol around them. I call this card learning the dance of change. That's what your friend's doing right now, Taurus. They're learning the dance of change. Why? Because you're the magician. Manifest, my friend. See it the way you want it to be. They're the one that's going through the hard time right now. They're the ones going to have to pull a tower plug. I don't want you carrying that energy. I want you skipping around in the streets because this is what the magician is manifesting right here. If that's what you want. This is what's in the cards, Taurus. Man, this thing's close, man. They cannot get you off of their mind. You are the catch. The catch. And a lot of you, Taurus, are doing good right now with the coin. And many times, you know, that's that kind of energy that goes on with these soulmate 20 twins. Is that one gets spiritual and because of the catalyst of the other one, and then the coin starts showing up. I'm good. Anyway, let's play some cards right here. I love this. I love this story for you, Taurus. You're going to get what you want right here because you're definitely the magician. Don't carry that heavy shit around. It ain't yours. No, not to me. Not today. 
Honey, you need to pull up your big boy, big girl panties and get yourself with that little shithole you got yourself into. I'm good today. Oh, I'm busy today. My God, I chipped this nail right. I got to go take care of that. I can't carry that heavy energy. You carry that heavy energy. I'm good. So that's see right here. But the lover and six of cups about for Taurus right here. Thank you, love team. Hangman. Again, Hangman. With Odin's crow up there. And what does Odin's crow have? Again, that big golden coin, the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. They are, I mean, this is Odin's crow. So this is source and spirit to me and my way of how I read. I love Odin. And source is telling him, come in there and give, give Taurus, who you left in a damn hangman tree, the golden coin. Source ain't going to back off of this with that person. And this is resonating with you. Four of Pentacles right there. The golden coin showing up one more time. I want you to see it, you know, and, and it's about hangman getting a new perspective. And this would be, I would assume you. Uh, so I want you knowing that if this is resonating with you, that you are manifesting what you want. I always want to help you get a new perspective about how, what you want to manifest in your life. Four of Pentacles. Why is it on this spread? Thank you, love team. Because of Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Yo, know, this is a Taurus that got tired of the fighting and the arguing, possibly. Definitely got tired of the competition with somebody else. And uh, probably just let it go. All right, go and have your way. You know, you want your cake and eat it too. The only problem is I'm not your cake. I see it. The uh, hair fan. <laughs> hair fan. <laughs> the hair fan. I'm already calling out hair fan. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if he shows up here. Because this is a power couple. Ten of Pentacles right there. The uh, Emperor, why is the Emperor on the spread? Holding out that old world, looking at Six of Cups. Why is he here? Oh, see, they know, man, Six of Pentacles. They know they need to come in with equal give and take. Reciprocity. <laughs> they know that they got to fly right to come play with their Taurus. They know it. Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights, the Woodhouse, the Kudos, the Shudos. Why is it here? Oh, there it is right there. See, look at all the golden coin. Oh, my God. You almost have the whole family of, of the Pinnacles out here. And this is solid, stable stuff. You know, this is a communication card. It's sitting right there on the Woodhouse, the Kudos, the Shudos, the Sleepless Nights. This has got the big golden coin. Don't they keep showing up, man? Hey, Taurus. Um, maybe we can go have a cup of coffee. Maybe we can walk by this uh, uh, tree that's blossoming in the spring. Cherry blossom tree of good luck and good fortune. It's a communication card. Talks about face-to-face -face meetings at a minimum. Telephone calls. They, they're going to reach out. They, oh, Taurus. Taurus. I found this big golden coin right here. I found it. Um, um, I, I do believe that uh, maybe uh, we could talk about this. Because <laughs> they're going to pull the plug on something over here. They're going to pull the plug on something over there. They are, man. <laughs> My little princess of Pentacles. She goes right up there by the Nine of Swords. Yeah. Four of Swords. For Taurus, why is it here? Thank you, love team. Here we go. Here we go. What we got? It's the Emperor again. And uh, with the Witch's Tarot, I would see this Emperor is different. See, it's kind of like a family man or a family woman. Because the Emperor can be either one. Because see the babies? All the babies? All the babies? The family? All the babies? I see them, and they're all over in the picture. This is somebody that's decided that they want the family life. They want a peaceful family life. Where they've been, it ain't been peaceful, I'll tell you that, man. I really, I like that emperor right there. He is super cool. Oh, and look, he has the big golden cup. Can you see it? It's down there by his throne. 
He has the big golden cup with that emperor right there. All right, Knight of Pentacles, why is it on the spread? Taurus says, you need to give me a solid offer. Yeah, oh, oh shit, man. Look at this, Three of Pentacles coming out on top of that. I love the tarot, man. Three of Pentacles talks about working on a foundation of something that's important to you with somebody else. And uh, regardless of what's going on, because they're going to have to, there's a tower that's coming. Uh, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what, that this person is planning. Look at, they're working on that pinnacle. Can you see it in the picture? They're working on that pinnacle right down there. They're planning it out. What they got to do to fix this situation with their Taurus. <laughs> Nobody knows. A little fire burning in their heart. There's a little candle burning there. The alchemy. The alchemy in the jug. The fire burning in the heart. And working alone on that pinnacle. That keeps showing up in the spread, man. The uh, hair pants, right? Or the hair pants. I keep saying hair pants. <laughs> the hermit, please. Why are they on the spread? Why are they on the spread? Because the tower, again... I'm telling you, this is them. They found the star down inside of themselves, that star of great hope and great faith. They may have they may have pulled the tower, but I'm telling you, they know that to come in here, it's, it's going to be a tower. There's going to be a tower. The, <laughs> that source striking that tower. Oh, oh, oh. And the big old crown coming off of the top of the tower with the witch's tarot. You know, that's about pride and ego, huh? Somebody's setting down some serious ass pride and ego right here. A lot of these old emperors, that was the old hang up, wasn't it? And the whole story, for however long it's been playing out. Old pride and ego, they letting it go, man. Source is blasting the top off of it. The magician, why are they here? Because you're manifesting the star. Oh my God, look at this Taurus. Great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. Shows our golden angelic being right there with the two cups. The two cups always talk about the true love with me. One pouring in the water, one pouring in the land. These two have probably been in separation for a season. Manifesting the healing of the star. Look at you, man. That's Aquarius. May mean something to you, may not. Wow, manifesting the star, man. You are putting this thing together right here, Taurus. And now uh, the old wild pony, the Knight of Wands. Why is it here? Well, that's about to change right there. Yeah, th that's a great adventure. That's movement. And that's the high priestess, another major arcana, Cancer Pisces. And uh, definitely talks that there may have been silence between these two for a season. They, when they do sleep, because they're not sleeping a lot, when they do sleep, they're dreaming and thinking about you. This is Source Man getting involved in this situation. They're being led and guided by the divine. But they may not want to show you that. Funny people, huh? They let go of some pride and ego. Six of cops twice. Oh my God, Doris. Six of cops, man. They can't get you out of their mind. Three of wands. They see you as their ships coming in. Now the death card off the bottom of the which is major transformation. Death, birth, and resurrection. This thing could have looked like dead dog in the middle of the road. Ten of swords. Again, somebody, they want to end a very painful cycle and start a new beginning. Two of cops. Come on, man. This is a new beginning between soulmate, twin flame, and life partner. Get ready, Taurus. What a beautiful spread. The world card after that, man. Just keeps on coming. As long as they keep on coming, I'm going to keep on pulling them. The world card, completion of old cycles and new cycles coming in. This has to do with Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. May mean something to you, may not. Means you passed a whole boatload of life lessons, Taurus. I'm proud of you. Yeah, man, because that comes at the end of the Major Arcana. You had to go through all 21 steps of the Major Arcana 
And and so have they. They just may not want to know, let you know that they've been on this very spiritual journey with you as well. This is beautiful shit. A couple of cards from the Mystic Moon Oracle. Thank you, love team. What you got for Taurus with this amazing spread? My manifestors right here. A little pause. A little pause. It's a little pause, but she is holding the sun in her hand. Whatever that means to you. Because, huh? I mean, spring doesn't come until the 21st. Spring doesn't come into the 21st and then springs all the way into June in the world that I live in. Oh, man, I hit it. Pride and ego. Pride and ego, man. Yeah, Source is ripping all that pride and ego off him. I want you out just dancing in the streets, man. I got this thing. I got this thing. This is mine, man. This is mine. My divine. This is my divine. It's, it's a cycle ending. And then there's a new beginning. A very painful cycle ending. This is beautiful stuff, man. Could have seemed like it was dead dog in the middle of the road. Who knows how long this thing has been silenced between these two with the high priestess. How, who knows how long Source has been working on this. But this is the metamorphosis cards right here. Change coming. Because pride and ego is coming off. Just has just a little pause right here. This is beautiful stuff, Taurus. I'm so excited for you, man. Can you tell? I'm excited for you. This fucking the energy on me is amazing right now. Taurus, what we got? I got the winter card, which is winter right now. Where I'm at. This is the winter right now. Source is pulling pride and ego off of your person. A little pause right here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. Wherever you're at in the world. And look, man, the, the answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> A reinvention off of the bottom of the deck. Somebody's going to take action right here. Jonathan Livingston Siegel right there, man. Somebody's going to start flying high. Because they've been interacting with you. In the 5D, you've been interacting with them during this period of separation. And you have changed the vibration. And for many of you, there's some serious ass coin coming in right now. I'm happy, man. This is a beautiful story. And union. Yep, that's what that says. Union at hand. Oh, <laughs> the conclusion. <laughs> what? What? Beautiful stuff. Who don't love the tarot? Couple of love cards on this for Taurus, please. Do it. Do it, magician. Do it. Couple of love cards on this for Taurus before we go. Thank you, love team. Children, again, all the babies running around. That's a that's an interesting card, you know. Because if you're of childbearing years, I mean, they watch us from the 5D. They stand up there and they go, I want that for my mommy and I want that for my daddy. And we're going to Put these two together. Whatever all the children that are running around and all these cards are about, you tell me in the comment. It's nice. Honeymoon. Yeah, honeymoon. There's movement. You know, that's Six of Swords. Somebody learned a whole shitload of life lessons. Here they come floating in on their boat. Hi, Taurus. Enjoy the bliss of time together. And does say flirt. Says so to flirt with them. You may not want to because these people have been challenging many times. And of course, on the bottom of the deck, I get religious factors, which is my soulmate twin flame card right there out of the 44. There may be an age difference, a, a racial difference, a cultural difference, you know, all that blah, 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 or a religious difference, all that shit, huh? That these people are breaking down. And passion. Look at this, Taurus. Get ready to play some serious ass kissy face. I see him all over here playing kissy face. <laughs> nice. Nice. They're all over playing kissy face. Get ready, Taurus. Here it comes. <laughs> Woo, man. I'm loving the energy off this read right here from my Taurus. Love it. All right. Let's do a couple overalls for Taurus. 
Thank you, love team, from the David Bowie's Star Man Tarot. Here we go. The Magician. Imagine that showing up. You know, it says right now, watch the stinking thinking. It did show up as Hangman right now. You know, Odin's Crow telling your people they need to bring in that golden coin. So watch the stinking thinking. Hmm. Manifest. He's in the lotus position right there. Know the fact that we manifest what we think, feel, and believe. Hmm. The manifester right there. And uh, oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, look at what's on the bottom of the deck. The emperor, the empress, and the star. Wow, Taurus. The magician is manifesting the union of the emperor, the empress, and the destiny, and the healing of the star. Oh my God, man. Worth every minute to view this to the end. Taurus, amazing reading, my magician friend. Namaste. Love and light. I'll be talking to you soon. <laughs> Bye for now.